am at the first thrift store of the day. I am at the Crossroads Mission and we're gonna see what they have. I think this thrift store is a little more expensive, but I don't know. I was at Goodwill yesterday and they wanted $50 for a pair of used shoes. And I was like, no, I'm gonna see what they have here. So I feel like all thrift stores are getting more expensive, but I'm gonna go inside and see what they have. I was obsessed with this changing table. It was $100 and I don't have $100 and I don't need it right now, but it is so cute. I I wanted it so bad. Then they just had some yarn. I could definitely use this for my projects, but I didn't end up buying any. I really wanted this tripod, but I just can't see paying $20 at the thrift store. Ended up getting these shadow box shelves. They were cute and they were only $7, so I did end up buying these. Just a cute little basket. It's not really my style, but I thought it was cute. I looked through the rest of their baskets, but didn't really find anything. Another cute changing table that I could repurpose, but again, I don't need one. And this really cute little stroller that I really liked, but I don't need it. Then I saw these cute farmhousey gingham pillows. Um, I contemplated buying these, went back and forth, and then I did end up buying them. Okay, so I just got done at the first thrift store. Um, I got a few things. I got those pillows and I got those um, like shadow box shelves. Um, and it was like a 25% off sale, so I only spent $8 on all that stuff, which is, I think, a really good deal. I really wanted that changing table. It was so cute, but I don't have $100 and I don't really have a need for it. Um, I mean, it could be used for something other than a changing table, and I just thought it was, it was so cute. I wish I could have got it. I didn't really find any shirts. I didn't really find anything that I was looking for. I kind of just, like, impulse bought things. <laughs> like, I really don't think I need those pillows. Like, they're a little too farmhousey for me. Um, I still think for $4 for those three pillows was pretty good. So now I'm going to go to another thrift store, and I will see what we find there. This Goodwill is probably the worst smelling Goodwill I've ever been to. They use the worst air fresheners. I don't even know what it smells like. It's just, I hate it so much. And the clothes smell like it. And, oh, it's not fun. So first I came upon some of these little trays. Um, this one was really heavy and I didn't like it. And this one was $2.99 and I ended up buying it because I thought it would look really cute on like my bed or my couch. And I love looking through these little bagged items at Goodwill. I contemplating buying these stamps, but I didn't. And then I couldn't figure out why anybody would use a used lint roller. <laughs> I came upon this bunch of flowers that I ended up buying for the greenery, but I'm going to throw the other ones away. There are so many people here. Like, do none of you work? They had a lot of fall stuff. These are the shoes I was talking about that were $50. Like, no. A cute bag I thought about getting for Hawaii, but I didn't. Then I went down the towel aisle wondering who buys towels from Goodwill. I just thought it was weird. Um, I saw this little basket vase I really liked, and I, I put it in my carpet, took it out. I thought I could paint it white and put, like, fig tree leaves in it, but I didn't get it. I liked this shirt, but then I saw, like, the really stupid little word thing on the pocket, and I didn't get it. I was going to buy this little thing just to take off the pumpkins, but it wasn't worth $5 just for two little pumpkins. These shutters were so cute, and I, I thought about getting them to like make a headboard, but they didn't have enough, And but I really liked them. I was going to get this for like candy for trick-or-treaters, but I didn't, and um, same. I liked this little succulent picture, but honestly, Christy, Allison's a bad friend. She gave your gift to Goodwill. I thought this was a cute little picture too, but I didn't buy it. I just finished inside Goodwill. It was a madhouse. There were so many people. The smell is so horrendous. And I'm glad to be out of there. I did get some really good things. I put a lot of stuff back. Um, I was going to get some things, but I was just like, I'm not going to use this, honestly. It would just be for the video, and I don't want to waste money. I ended up getting a lot of fall things I'm going to DIY, which I'm actually really excited about. Um, I spent $16 here 
And I got a good amount of things. I'm excited about what I got. I'm sweating like a pig. It is a million degrees in Arizona. Um, and so there's one more thrift store I'm gonna check out. I don't know if it's open. If it's not open, I'm just gonna run to Michael's and get some uh, paint for the things that I bought for the fall DIYs. I will update you guys when I get home. Okay guys, so I am back from all of the thrift stores. As you saw, I got a few things. I went to three thrift stores. Um, two of them I filmed at, and then the third one was just a small little Habitat for Humanity. I'd never been there before, and I didn't really want to film. I only bought one thing, but I love what I got there, and it's a really cute store, so I'm glad I found it. At first, I was a little, a little bummed. I was thinking I couldn't find anything, and it was going to be kind of a flop, and I was filming with my cell phone, so I was like, this is kind of a joke of a video, but then I actually ended up finding a lot of good things that I'm really excited about. A lot of good fall DIYs, so that's kind of what this is. It's like a thrift with me slash fall DIYs, but before I get to the DIYs, I'm going to show you everything that I got. So the first thing I got it has nothing to do with my fall DIYs. It's just a little shadow box. Um, this will be good for some of the stuff that means something to me. Um, I have a lot of things to put in here and it's a little janky, the back's a little messed up, but I'll just put some like cardboard in it or something and I thought it was cute and it was only $2.99, so. All right, so you guys saw a little bit of the pillows I got. Um, this one says Our Nest and it's humongous and it's got gingham on the back. Then the two gingham pillows, which are also ginormous. I like these pillows and it was only $4 for all of them, which is a really good deal. And I do think, I, I didn't like them as much. I was a little regretful for buying them, but then I thought, I think they'll look really good for fall, even though it's a little farmhousey. It is fall, so I thought it would look really cute with it. I'm gonna try and play around with these and see where I want them in my house. So the other thing I got were these shadow box um, shelves. I just thought they were really cute. They were seven bucks. I think they'd be cute in the bathroom. I put like some handmade soaps inside the little uh, box things. <laughs> so I thought these were really cute and it was a good deal. I wish I would have bought that tripod because my camera, mine broke and my camera is sitting on a, my dining chair right now. <laughs> But I still, I thought $20 for a thrift store is just too much money. I don't understand where thrift stores are coming from these days. Like, they're used. Why are you charging so much? Whatever. The next thing I bought I really like. I was actually going to put it back, but I'm glad that I didn't. It was $2.99, and it's this super cute little tray. I love this pattern. I'm so happy I didn't put this back. It's so cute. <laughs> so I think this would be really cute for, like, breakfast in bed, which... I never have <laughs> or but I thought for like putting some of the pumpkins that I bought for fall would be really cute or just like um, a centerpiece for my table I just thought this was adorable so the next thing that I bought was just this bunch of flowers I'm going to toss these red white and blue flowers but I got it for this like greenery because I thought it was cute and I bought a little pumpkin vase I thought this would look cute inside the little pumpkin vase and it, it doesn't look too fake, so I liked this. And it was really cheap for this whole bunch. It was $2.99, but I am gonna toss these. So this is what I got for fall. I got this little black pumpkin. Now I can tell that this pumpkin has been painted, and it's still kind of shocking to me that this like styrofoam painted pumpkin was $2.99. Like this should have been 50 cents. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Inflation has got these thrift stores out of control. I'm gonna repaint this white, so I thought it was it's gonna be a cute centerpiece for both. Another one I got was this little like burlap looking pumpkin, but it's not actually burlap, it's like plastic, but it's cute. I liked the neutral color to break up the white. I don't like that it's covered in glitter, but I'm gonna to try to sand it down. It has like a subtle glittery glitteriness to it that I don't like, but we'll see what I can do. And then the third one I got was just this little pumpkin vase, which I thought I really liked. It's I think it's a plant. It has soil in it, so I think it was for plants. It was $1.99, which blows my mind that this glass was more money than that styrofoam pumpkin. <laughs> but anyway, this is gonna look really adorable on my table with this in it. I'm gonna, you know, cut it down, but I really liked this. Another thing I bought is this little, like, picture stand. It's actually an apple that says, teaching is a work of heart, um, but I'm going to repaint it to make it look like a pumpkin. This was 
and I think it's gonna turn out really cute. Okay, so I got one more thing, and this is what I bought at that little thrift store that I didn't film at. I've been wanting a two-tiered tray for my table or for my bar for fall stuff for a while now, and every time I see those like, um, those like, I don't even know what you would call them. They're like what, like horse troughs are made out of? What's that? Metal? I don't know, it's just metal. It's like that farmhouse-y two-tiered. I went to Michael's right now and that was $42. And so I was like, oh, I'm gonna make my own. So for $5, I bought this plate and this tray. And look how cute. I got my $5 little tray. I don't really understand this piece because there's a hole in it and it came with this lid. Like what on earth would I put in there? There's a giant hole. And so for my pumpkins and for my greenery, I thought this would be so cute. So that is my little mini haul. That's everything I got at the thrift store today. And now I'm gonna get started on these fall thrift store DIYs. So I started off by just painting the two pumpkins with white chalk paint. And I just gave them both um, like two or three coats. Um, but I didn't let the black one fully dry and you'll see why later. But yeah, I'm just going and painting these uh, pumpkins to repurpose them. Now I'm using some sandpaper to get the tags off the back of this little teacher's gift. Um, I could not get them off to save my life so I just ended up sanding them and now I'm just going to paint over this little yellow apple and I did like a lot of coats on this thing because it would not cover very well and some kept like moving around so um, also it's not in focus at all but it gets there. <laughs> I did end up painting the base and I painted the front and the back of the entire thing but I only did the back of it with one coat because I didn't really care that it looked nice I just wanted it to be all white then I took some of this Valspar paint I have for my house it's just like an off-white cream and I painted the base with it and then I added some like grain ish things through the pumpkin just to add a little bit of depth of color then when this uh, the black pumpkin was still wet I just went with a paper towel that was wet and I just distressed it a little bit and then if I took off too many pieces that I didn't like I would just go back with some chalk paint watered down and I just did this a bunch of times till I liked how it looked then I took this pointy back of my paintbrush and just went down the ridges of the pumpkin Off camera, I put, glued some twine to the top of this and I love how this pumpkin came out. It's so cute. Now I'm taking sandpaper and I'm just gonna distress the crap out of this base of this apple pumpkin thing. The paint would not come off really well, which I thought was crazy, but I got it to where I liked it. Now I'm taking a Sharpie and I'm outlining the pumpkin just to add like a little bit of like depth and detail. When I didn't like how dark it was getting and I wanted to kind of break it up, I went in with my paintbrush and I watered it down with some chalk paint on it. I did the same thing to make the ridges of the pumpkin. So I did two on each side and one line down the middle to make it look more like a pumpkin, like it had sides. So I'm just drawing with a Sharpie and then watering it down with uh, watered down paint. So you can see it's starting to look like a pumpkin and I just did that till I got it to look how I wanted it. And then I glued some twine to the stem and it looks so cute. So here is some of my DIYs. I put that little tray together with some of the pumpkins I DIY'd, a little wooden L for my last name, and I just really love how this looks. It's so fallish and farmhousey, and it's so cute. Here's the little pumpkin apple thing that I DIY'd. I just put a little sign on it that says fall that I wrote and I love how it turned out. Here are the pillows that I got from the first thrift store. I think they really go with fall and I love how they look. Here is the little pumpkin vase I painted, the tray I bought, and the greenery and I just love how it looks sitting on my ottoman. 
That is it for my fall thrift store DIYs. I hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching.